And welcome back one and all to Red Dead Redemption 2. I am the Dark Seraph, and last time I don't even I wound up doing some work for an old slaver and he wasn't even worth the bullet. This is this one's in post because I don't know what the fuck happened. I wanted to edit the video and the audio was horrible and I could not fix it in the, my audio software, so this is post. So yeah, that's always fun. This is what a friggin' forty some odd minute video. About 42 minutes, so this is going to be a lot of fun, a lot of fun. Let me frickin' tell you how much fun I'm going to have talking for 46 minutes about something I don't know what I'm doing. So, this one, this one, this one. I don't even remember what I was doing in this one. I really don't. Uh... Oh, yeah, this one. I was... I remember now. Yeah, I was. To the federal it's on the federal ain't got no authority here. We'll yeah, just some writer scum. You're welcome. Oh, yeah, I stole this guy's wagon. Oh yeah, these guys are pissed at me. And that. Son of a bitch. I don't even know what I'm doing here, so just this. this ain't no to mess with. More frickin' work for me to do. Just this. I, I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't remember what I did here. I, I, like I said, I think I stole the wagon, but I don't know. I don't remember the fact. You know, all of this will be cut out anyway because it's boring and pointless. I got to give, you have no idea how discouraging this is as a content, as a let's player when your audio fucks up when you have to do it all in post. And even it isn't even just this one. I'm not gonna have time to do all these tonight. I mean, for one thing, it takes hours to even edit videos or process videos at times. It can take over two hours. And then I have to just talk. I have to do this. I have to talk. I'm rambling. I'm rambling at this point. I am rambling about. I'm bitching about my audio fucking up, and you're watching Red Dead too. I don't. I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm talking about. I'm eating cheese doodles. They are the best fucking cheese puffs there are, and I will hear nothing else about it. It's just inf it's infuriating when this happens. I, I don't I don't know what else to say. I hate this. I hate it when my game. I hate it when my when my I hate when this shit happens. I'm stammering. I'm rambling. Not only am I rambling, but I'm stammering as I am rambling. Oh fuck you! Player 
people rude. But I'm the good old southern hospitality I keep hearing about. Sure, y'all are just purely engrossed in what you're watching. I'm sure of it. I'm certain. I'm glad people are enjoying my name rambling and awkward silent pauses of nothing. And my air conditioner behind me. I live in Texas and it's summer. I don't even remember, I don't even remember when I recorded this. It's been months since I've recorded this. Been sitting here waiting to edit. And I don't I don't remember when I recorded this. It's been weeks, months even. I don't I don't know. Or just you're you're watching me rant. You're watching an old. You're watching past me play this game, and you're listening to future me bitch about my audio fucking up. I mean seriously, I don't even want to put it in. It's it's bad. This is some of the worst fucking audio that I've ever recorded. I've recorded some pretty bad audio. I'm gonna tell you that. Thing is, it's just with this set of videos. My other videos are fine. It's the same equipment. Yeah. Tracking a deer. I'm tracking a deer. I'm tracking a critter to shoot it dead. That, that's what I'm doing right now. This is, this is an episode of nothing so far. I'm, I have accomplished nothing. Easy. In fact, I've screwed this up. I feel like a fucking idiot. You're dead. Oh, you got up. I'm impressed. Now you're dead. So we got that going for it. I don't know what to say in these. I don't know what to talk about. Did you know the military barbers shave their privates? You know, I'm just wasting everyone's fucking time with this video and this and not inane rambling and stammering of a video. My, my commentary is, is I'm just I, I'm not even drinking, people. I'm not drunk. Just me. Look what the contract in. This is what you committed yourself to. Yes. Why wouldn't I be? I'm just asking, no need to get defensive. Whatever you say. Looking for the butcher to give the deer. Five finger play. Go away. Stupid bug.
grub, Clement's pot. Where's my drink? Man, I'm drinking something right now, but. You get what I'm trying to say. I'm not inebriated on any level. Stash said you knew where that was. They was planning a visit to the breakaway place, but John needs to do something for Dutch now, so Hosea wants you to join him in state. Okay. Seems to be a lot going on. You're telling me. Okay, thank you. Because fuck you. Now, I was getting a little brave there. I didn't know exactly what I was doing. How's that a cut? You didn't hit yourself with the blade, you, with the edge anyway. And that's about where I figured it out. Sure. You watching carefully? Yeah, this is about where I figured everything out. It takes you a bit to really get the idea.
So isn't this riveting, guys? You enjoying yourselves? I'm not. I don't know what to talk about in these moments. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, this here is where I got the hang of it. There we go. Got Trails of Cold Steel 2 for PS4. Got the steel box, the collectible pins, some cards of some origin. And even some more musical selections. So that's cool. That's neat. Came UPS instead of United States Postal Service, and I'm like, one time I wanted the Postal Service, it comes fucking UPS. Yes, you will. Morgan needs some sleep. It's just all there is to it. Problems there. Like your new home? I won't miss that other place, that's for sure. Keep your nose clean. Okay, I'll catch you later then. Good day, care. Heading off to somewhere. I don't I don't remember what I was doing. Somebody can join my asinine and ain't rambling. Hey, Arthur. What are you doing? Selling it back to where it came from. Why? Well, I ain't got a market for it. They made it. They must have someone to sell it to. Stuff look kind of lonely out here. I think we'll cut ourselves a deal. You. You I can guarantee this goes south. You requisitioned it. Now I'm doing mine. All right. I should get going now. I'll leave you fellas to it. Good luck. Thank you, John. Sure. We'll see you later. Dutch asked him to look into something to do with the Braithwaite horses, I think. Sure, okay. Okay, let's head out to the Braithwaite's place. You know the way? Yeah, I've been there. So, what exactly are we doing? This is the moonshine we took after blowing up the Braithwaite still, right? I think the good citizens taking the trouble to return their stolen goods deserve some reward, don't you? And it's time we made a formal introduction, like Dutch told us. Look, 
These are two big old plantation houses. All I keep hearing is they hate each other so much they can't see past it. Hmm. I know. I've seen it. There's a gray boy and a Braithwaite girl carrying on a secret affair. I've yep. been, well, helping them. The mind boggles. You think they're of use? Not sure. They don't seem too involved in the rest of it, but maybe. Well, I'm sure there's money in this for us somewhere if we can get in the middle of it. Uh. Yeah, sure. Not much of anything going on in this one. I mean, aside from some moonshine dealing. I thought this was the one where I stole a wagon and went to a fence. I don't I don't remember that what that one was. It doesn't matter. Yep. Little homestead, isn't it? Hello, gentlemen. How are you? What's that in the back there? Moonshine, my fine fellow. May I have a word with the man of the house? The man of the house is a lady, Mrs. Catherine Braithwaite. May I speak with her? I want to discuss a business opportunity. I mean no harm. No harm at all. You may happily shoot me if I do. <laughs> and they will. Okay. okay. She's at the house. We'll be watching you. You heard the man. Driver, proceed, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. the hills thought thought maybe you was in the market for it for what some liquor i ain't in the market for what's already mine the way we mm -hmm. see it is ours well with us possessing it and I, I checked all over for the life of me i couldn't see your name on it <laughs> oh relax i ain't here to rob you <laughs> oh it seems that's easy enough why don't I do a deal what do you sell that stuff for Dollar a bottle. You give us 50 cents. It's already ours. Well, look on it as a reward for finding the property. Alternative is we go sell it someplace else. The alternative <laughs> is you get shot. Now, who wants to get shot over a bottle or two of liquor? <laughs> Pay the man. Kind of wanted to kill him. Pleasure doing business with you. And listen. Uh, we didn't take it, at least not without orders. From... Oh, I know exactly who gave you your orders. Old Sheriff Gray. You know what? I don't want it. In fact, sir, now you can do me a favor. There's an extra ten bucks if you do. Drive the stuff into Rhodes, head over to the tavern run by Mr. Gray, and give the stuff out for free. Mama! Hush now. Willie! I believe they call that a promotional expense. <laughs> As you wish, madam. You boys come back sometime and tell me how you made out. Maybe we'll play a little cribbage. All right. Next stop, the road. She wants to saloon. stick it to gray. Here we go. So I finally sold those Cornwall bonds. Got close to a thousand for them. I wanted more, nice. but not bad considering how hot they were. 
especially after that bloodbath in Valentine. Oh, not bad at all. Apparently, Cornwall's been pumping a lot of cash into the Pinkertons. Wants to keep oh, really? full effort on going after gangs. Gangs like us. Yeah. That don't surprise me. All right. This could get ugly. You and Dutch already have that thing going on in town with the sheriff. Yeah, Mr. Gray. That's it. Now we're inserting ourselves in his blood feud. <laughs> we'll need something. I ain't playing dressing. You know how I feel about that. <laughs> of course you're not. You're... You're a clown's idiot brother. Hosea, please. I'm the clown. You're the idiot. Just look sad and keep quiet. Even you can do that, Arthur. Oh, I heard <laughs> Put this hat on. Smoke this pipe. Bring your lip forward. Just a bit. Squint. Oh, perfect. Uh, what about you? Oh, shh. Sh you can't speak. You're turned idiot. <laughs> My broke poor mammy's heart. There, there. That and there, there. <laughs> He's enjoying this. Yeah, moonshining, that's always fun, isn't it? I don't even know what to talk about. I'm selling moon I'm giving out moonshine. What what is there to say? Okay, Fenton, stay calm now. For Mama, she loved you so. <laughs> Just a shame you had to strangle her in a rage, right? Grab two cases of that stuff and follow me. Mother, but it weren't his fault. How'd you boys? How'd you boys like a couple of bucks? I bet you would. One for each of you. We're in the new trade of advertising, which is an American art form about ensuring uh -huh. people buy the correct things. I don't know. One more dollar. Says, give us half an hour. What harm can we do in half an hour? <laughs> Go along. Uh... Enjoy the money. Come on, Fenton. Let's hand out the liquor. Sure. Gentlemen! Gentlemen! My name is Melvin. That's my brother Fent. He's a bit funny, but boy, can he pour drinks fast. For the next 30 minutes, the drinks in this here bar, in this here town, are entirely free! Yeah. The only rule is that you gotta drink them! So hurry up, put old Fenton to work! Don't get him mad, though. His mama made him mad, and we buried her. 
And now we're pouring drinks. Yeah, well, fuck Mr. Gray. And everyone's good and drunk. Yeah, it's a little finicky. If she don't, the liquor will. And now we have a gunfight. We're giving the liquor out, you know, it would have been wise to, hey, we're giving the liquor out free if you want some. Have some liquor, it's free. Walk by it when it's free. That's Fenton for you. Remember? There is a kill shot. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Yeah, I'm sure. Uh, I think I can. I think you're the dead man. There's another kill shot. I'm actually working on something with those kill shots.
shoot to your left. Ah! Oh, he's down. And now he's under the train. It's a little, like I said, it's a little finicky. Boy, I feel like breathing. How many are there? They really are. Luckily, you don't have to worry about reloading in this segment. I just now noticed that, actually. Take up a career. What was it? Advertise. Yeah, yeah you think bloodthirsty business. No, I don't think so. Maybe. I think she did. This place is odd. Uh, I keep seeing those fellas. Some local militia. Clearly not too happy to have some new competition. I'll go visit old Mob Braithwaite. See what's what. Why? We've been making money. The chest is filling up again, slowly but surely. Part of me thinks we just get ourselves good and lost, but we still need a lot more money before that can happen. So yeah, for we do. now, let me go give old Mrs. Braithwaite some of this moonshine as, well, let's call it a peace offering. Sure. That was fun, Fenton. We'll make an actor of you yet. <laughs> I'll go speak to Dutch. Yeah. Sure. So, what do you think? About what? Fine folks around these parts. Oh, really? Some of them ain't so bad. Exactly. On the one side, we have got the Gray family. Scots, degenerates, drunkards, the local law. You couldn't make this stuff up. Rich as Croesus. And on the other, their mortal enemies, the Braithwaites. Moonshiners, hypocritical, both rolling, we believe. In gold. And in the middle of it all, you got some inbred retailing of Romeo and Juliet. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so what are you boys thinking? We try to rob them both. Oh, that's that'll work out great. Sure? You know, if they don't turn on, because they don't come together and turn on us. Three different states after us. Last thing I want is to get us into trouble, but we need money. Now, we have the opportunity here to put ourselves in the middle of something ain't nobody gonna know we was here. Because even without us, these fools are gonna kill each other anyway. Okay, well, probably Jose's anyway. Back to see that Braithway woman. Good. Hosea should definitely take the lead on this. I sent Sean over to Braithwaite Manor, too. Now you can meet up with them, or join John and Javier at the Gray's place. Something to do with the Braithwaite's prize horses. Well, how the hell did we get in at the Gray's place? Sheriff Gray kindly put in a word with his father. It ain't that complicated. <laughs> we gotta convince each family that we're on their side, and then we rob them both. Before they figure out it was us that done it, and not the other lot, we'll be long gone. Think of it as payback. Payback. I ain't in the revenge business, Dutch. Least of all for something happened a long time ago. Well, I guess we all gotta pay for something. Now, if you will excuse me, Arthur, I got to write a letter. Yeah, but that's where I decided to end this one. Thank you all for watching. Uh, join me next time as I go do whatever it is I did next time with some more fucked up audio so there's gonna be more post probably so yeah yeah that, that, this is the episode thank you all for watching join me next time on red dead redemption 2 as i do more work for to, to stick it to the Braithwaites and the the Braithwaites and the grays and you know what fuck it i'm done i'm done